There were a couple of trials presented at ASCO this year with nintetidib, uh, which used to be BIBF1120, and it was uh, looked at in two second-line trials that were both chemo plus or minus nintetidib. Uh, one was docetaxel and one was with pemetrexid. Uh, the docetaxel trial was the more positive of the trials, and it was presented as an oral, um, and in that presentation, there was a progression-free survival benefit uh, for patients with either adeno or squamous histology. In the overall survival analysis from the trial overall, um, there was no survival benefit. However, if you looked at the adenocarcinoma subset, there was a statistically significant survival benefit of around two months. So that was very intriguing. There have been many, many, many studies of adding a VEGFR TKI to either first line or second line chemotherapy. And many of them have shown response and progression free survival benefits, but none had shown an overall survival benefit. And so if this wasn't it's positive for the whole trial, but for the adeno subset, there was a survival benefit, so that was intriguing. However, with pemetrexid, um, while there was a progression-free survival benefit, there was no overall survival benefit, and that was an adeno-only study. And so when you've got two trials with the same drug in a very similar patient population, and one's positive and one's negative, it's a little harder to interpret. Now, one caveat of the Pemetrexa trial was that it was actually halted early because the initial analysis looked like it wasn't going to hit the PFS benefit. However, in the end, it actually did, but it was an underpowered trial then for the survival, overall survival analysis. So perhaps it wouldn't have been a negative trial if it had completed its full accrual. And I think that's a question that is, is just not answered.